Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. Great article here from CNET. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys may check it out. So this is in regards to the Verizon perks. And recently, Hans Vesper, the company's CEO, spoke at a it was at a uh, uh, like a employee town hall get together in Texas. It was at the Network Hub in Irving, Texas. He spoke. Uh, briefly to to the perks and the value and and he addressed it and he committed to even more of those coming so they've already I, I think they have a very compelling package today in terms of what you can choose from now none of it is is, is free anymore we we understand that unless you're still in the get more plan none of these perks are free but they're heavily discounted and they're they're bundling them now to a very compelling price point, I feel. So some of them you can get three for like the price of one in some cases, right? You pay 10 bucks, you get Disney, you get the, the that whole bundle. Uh, on, on other ones, you can bundle like HBO Max or Max as we know it now today and Netflix and some other ones. So the value part of it is is insane, I feel. But what are they seeing that we're not seeing? So they continue to strive to fill up the, the, the Play Plus, right, where you can, or Plus Play, whatever it's called, where you can choose whatever perk you want every 30 days. You don't want this no more? Well, I'm going to try this out. They're looking to load that up. So is it really working for them to where they go above and beyond to try and get any exclusive partnership that they're able to, to put it into the, the Plus Play? Also... Right with this NFL Sunday ticket, they're starting to really deepen the relationship with Google and YouTube, and you can get a discount with YouTube if you bundle that with with home internet. So they're looking to really, really push the the value piece a different way. But also, could they be looking at the competition and saying, "Hey, we we understand how the numbers work, and we feel eventually." T-Mobile and AT&T are also going to start moving into the same type of structure. So let's strike all these deals so we have dibs, so to speak, on all of these exclusive partnerships. Verizon knows how much this costs. There's a reason they moved away from that on the Get More plan and they structured it the way that it is today under the My Plan. There's a reason for it. T-Mobile knows it too. And we've seen that, you know, the, the whole Netflix on us. When they structured that the way that they did, every time that Netflix did an increase, T-Mobile had to push that off onto the customer. For those of you who, 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 uh, who use the, the higher end tiers and, and you're not on the ad version, they pushed that cost off onto the customer. So it no longer came, uh, no, it no longer is Netflix on us for a lot of you. Unless you, you downgraded and you went to the ad tier, you're paying whatever amount of dollars outside of what T-Mobile covers on your bill. So T-Mobile is not covering the additional cost for any increase that the streaming platforms uh, decide to push. So eventually, somewhere down the line, I don't know how long it's going to take, but I could see T-Mobile shifting to somewhat of a my plan, my, my plan type of model. And Verizon's already embracing that today, and they've been embracing that for a while. So now they're still striking whatever deal that they can to present more value because not everybody is going to like a certain uh, platform or a certain structure. They're not, you know, they, they're trying to please as many customers as they possibly can under my plan. They want to offer a variety of programs where to where people say there is something in there for everyone. And that's what I think Hans is trying to get to. And that's what he alluded to at this recent meeting or town hall that they had in Texas. And I just don't know if that's necessarily bringing them the type of growth and success that, that some are looking for. And as I've stated before, it's, that's how Verizon breaks the numbers down. It's not me. They show us the consumer side and the business side. They break it down separately. Verizon does not grow on the consumer side. And if they do, going by history, 
it's been in the fourth quarter where they've given everything away. Xbox, Nintendo, TVs, laptops, they're doing it all in stackable. That's when they grow on the consumer side. So I want to see them, for me at least, right? Whatever these perks may lead up to, I want to see them growing comfortably. Like in a random second quarter where they don't have to give away the entire company, right? Where, where they can just say, look, we've had, great, we've had a great promo this quarter and we were able to grow comfortably 250,000 new net customers. That's what I want to see from the company. That's when I know, okay, this is sticking with the consumer. It's resignated. The network is back, right, with all the C-band deployed. They are on the right track. But as of now, that's not happening. They re they're reporting less losses on consumer and celebrating that as a win. That's, that's crazy to me. That's just crazy to me. So we'll, we'll keep track of this. We'll, we'll see uh, what other perks they present or, or value bundles or whatever they're going to release publicly. We'll keep track of that. Uh, make sure you guys stay tuned for more. Like, share, subscribe. Follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. See y'all in the next one. Peace.